Hey Cancer, Donna Speaks here and in this video I am doing your love reading for the month of February 2021. Now I do want to start off by letting you know that all of my readings are general so they may or may not resonate with you because not every single Cancer is going through the same exact thing. So if you find that this reading does not resonate then it will be in your best interest to go ahead and book a prior reading with me. All the information to do so will be in the description below. All right, so let's get started. What is the overall energy for the sign of cancer this month? Hey, we got the lovers. All right. Okay. So you guys are dealing with a connection that is mutual. Okay. So how you feel about this person is the same way that they feel about you. Okay. Um, for some of you, you could have two people. Okay, this could be a love triangle, or you could be in a love triangle, okay? Hmm, Seven of Cups is here. I'm going to be honest, Cancers, I feel like y'all got two people, okay? Um, if you don't have two people, like, let's say you haven't really, like, acted, act out on um, the advances that other people are making towards you, you could if you wanted to. It's kind of like... A lot of people want you okay um and you could you could some of you could be exploring other options too but i feel even with y'all possibly exploring other options there still is one person that you do have a mutual connection with so it's like you have all these other options that are coming towards you and they trying to pursue you but it's like all you see is this one person that you have this mutual connection with now i feel you may also feel very loyal to this one individual person you probably feel like you've been through a lot with them you've endured a lot of bumps and bruises along the way i feel this person has hurt you um they put you through a lot but you're very loyal to them so you don't want to give up on them so yeah you got other people that want you but you don't want to give up on this person because of the history right we do have the nine of swords here so although you don't want to give up on this person and although you do have a mutual connection with them this person does bring a lot of anxiety and I feel a lot of it has to do with the fact that you feel like there's no real security with this relationship. This could be a relationship where you feel like you got to kind of be on your P's and Q's or walk on eggshells because maybe at any time you could feel like this person will walk away from you. And any kind of relationship like that, it's not a healthy relationship. I'm not saying that um, you should feel like your person will never leave you because once you start thinking that, that's when you more than likely going to get left because that means that you'll start slacking. But you never want to be in a relationship where it's, it just feels like you do one little thing and they quick to leave you, right? It's not a fun way to live, okay? We do have the Seven of Swords here. So I'm going to be honest, right? You might, even though you're very loyal to this person, you might dip in and, and cheat with somebody else. Um... And it could be that you don't want to break it off with this person. But at the same time, you may feel like maybe messing with someone else may make you feel better. Maybe you're trying to look to fill a void. Um, that's, what, that's what some people do. They cheat and they think like that's going to make it better. But not realizing that it creates more problems. Okay, so I feel like you may be you may be looking at other options and being sneaky and being deceptive because you feel like it's gonna make you feel better. But with the devil, be very careful. Okay. It's like we have a devil here too. So not only do you have a mutual connection with this person, not only are you very loyal to them, but with the devil, there's a part of you that's codependent. So I'm I'm kind of getting the message from spirit saying that. You may not really like be 100% happy with this person, although you do have a mutual connection to them. Um, you might just be staying because you've become codependent on them. And then because of that, you're choosing to kind of either, you know, cheat or your mind has been thinking about it. And, you know, spirit is saying, you know, just be careful because it could get real sticky. Okay, you're coming out as the nine pentacles. Yeah, it's like, I feel like deep down inside, even though you're staying loyal to this person, and you're not trying to like end the relationship. You like I said, you don't have real security with this person. So you could just feel like, yo, chances are this is not gonna last. 
chances are they gonna like break it off with me because this is this person's pattern so you know what i'm just gonna kind of do me and i'm gonna focus on myself and you know i have these other options that want to talk to me so i'm gonna explore them but with the five of cups be mindful because this could lead to more disappointment okay i'm telling you be careful the six of swords i feel like spirit is saying the best thing for you to do is to move on from this relationship like if any time you feel like you need to cheat it is a sign that you need to move on from your relationship because cheating is not gonna make it better i'm telling you it's gonna create more problems all right so let's see how does this person feel about the cancers how is the person's uh, how does a cancer person feel about them? Okay, we have the three of pentacles. Okay, so this person is trying to make things work with you. They're trying to build with you. We do have three, three, uh, a three here though. And I did talk about third party interference. Okay, so I'm just keep pulling the star. So this person wants this to work. They want to build with you. Okay, they have faith that this can work. Okay, they, they want to repair things. They want things to heal. Temperance, yeah. Like, they're willing to compromise with you. They're willing to see things your way. I feel this person has never been willing to really compromise with you until now. Okay. The seven of pentacles, the seven of pen. I mean, what the hell's wrong with me today? The seven of swords. Hmm. You know, this person could know that you probably cheated. Okay. They could know. They could have a feeling. Or they could have a feeling that you're close to doing it. That if they do one more thing, you'll 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 do it. Um, I did I did pull the lovers and it does talk about mutual connection, but I when I when I think of that mutual connection, I think of two people that are very in sync. So it's kind of like they can read you and what you're thinking in your head, they already know. So this could be the reason why they're trying to make things work with you because they're realizing like if they don't, you're gonna end up doing you. Okay, this person coming out as the king of cups, so this person has a lot of feelings for you. Okay, they may not show it. They may not always say it, but they, they really love you. They really, really love you. We have a tower here. It's almost like the, the turmoil and the chaos that has happened between you two had to happen for this person to realize how much they really do love you. They've almost had this like aha moment, this, this awakening that man, like, I don't want to lose the cancer, okay? They want to hold on to you for as long as they can. And I feel a lot of the problems you have with this person was because they were very closed off. This person was very, like, you know, possessive of their emotions and not wanting to give you their emotions. But they realized that that has pushed you away, okay? And with the Five of Cups, they acknowledge that they have disappointed you. Um, this person is also disappointed in you too, though, because I do feel this person is sensing that either you're going to cheat or that you already are doing it, okay? And they don't want that to happen, okay? And I feel this person is going to express that with you. I feel like they'll be very honest um, in a conversation you guys will have about what they want with you, okay? So... I'm going to ask Spirit, um, should Cancers give more energy to this person? We have the Seven of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, the Magician. I feel like Spirit is saying, okay, it's not like necessarily Spirit is saying give this person a chance, like definitely. But this is what spirit is more so saying. Like, spirit never really tells you what to do. This is what they're telling you, though. They're kind of like, okay, listen, Cancer, you've invested a lot into this. You know, you invest a lot of time, a lot of effort, right? And you're waiting for it to pay off, right? 
And they're like, you know, unfortunately, sometimes in certain relationships, you may have to wait a lot longer for the person to get it together. Not every relationship is going to be perfect. But with a magician, they feel like you can really manifest whatever you want with this person. You have the ambition, the drive, the power to manifest whatever you want. Okay, so I feel like they're saying you make the final decision. But it's saying that I feel it, it is it is worth fighting for this. Okay, so I'm going to ask Spirit for some advice. So Spirit, give me some advice for the Cancers. Get more information. Okay, the situation will improve romance okay get more information why is get more information here choose a new direction compromise and i talked about that before forgiveness okay all right guys so i'm gonna end this reading here cancers and i'll see you in the next one bye